In this video, we're going to look at solving rational equations by clearing the denominator. You may recall solving problems with fractions and variables in them before. We would find the least common denominator, in this case it would be 12, and we multiplied each fraction, or each term would be a better way to say it, by 12. We could then reduce the 12 over 4 to 3, the 12 over 2 to 6, and the 12 over 6 to 2, and multiply the remaining stuff together. 3 times 3x would be 9x, minus 6 times 1 is 6, equals 5 times 2 is 10, and we would end up with an equation we could solve. As our rational expressions become more complex, we will use this same exact strategy. We will clear fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator. Let's take a look at some examples where we use this strategy to clear the fractions. In this problem, finding our least common denominator, we see the number 7 and the variable x in the denominators. We will multiply each term by the 7x. This includes the minus 4, which is not a fraction. When we do this, we can go through and divide out the x from the first fraction, the 7 and the x from the next fraction, and what we're left with is 7 times 5, or 35, equals 3, minus 4 times 7x, which is 28x. We can now solve this problem for x, like always, by subtracting 3. To get 32 equals negative 28x, and then finally dividing both sides by negative 28 to get our solution. When we reduce dividing by 4, we get negative 8 sevenths. Let's try one more example where we have to clear the denominator by multiplying by the least common denominator. In this problem, our denominators are a binomial, x plus 5. This means my least common denominator is going to be that binomial, x plus 5. What we'll do with this is we will multiply each term by x plus 5. Notice this includes the x, which was not a fraction. When we do this, the x plus 5's will divide out in the fractions, and we're just left with 4 plus x times x plus 5 equals negative 2. We now have an equation we can solve by first distributing the x. 4 plus x squared plus 5x equals negative 2. And then we can make the equation equal to 0, so we can decide how to solve by adding 2 to both sides. Putting this in order, where the x squared comes first, we get x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. From here, we could either complete the square or use the quadratic formula, but it might be easier if this equation factors. Sure enough, it does factor quite nicely x plus 2 times x plus 3. We can now set each equation, each factor equal to 0, x plus 2 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0, and solve those equations to get our x. Subtracting 2 tells us that x is equal to negative 2, or subtracting 3 tells us that x is equal to negative 3. These equations made up of ratios are easily solved by first clearing the denominator and multiplying by the least common denominator.